YouTube, what is up with y'all today? This is Neil Goodfella, Goodfella Neil coming through with another sneaker review, another sneaker review, another sneaker thought, another sneaker opinion. Man, 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 these by far is the lowest price Air Max Tailwind Force I actually got. Special edition SE. Um, I've seen these on the Finish Line website for 60 bucks and um, I was gonna cop on the website but I ended up going into the mall that day just to see if they had them I thought I seen them before and then I seen one of the kicks that was for 80 one of the other tailwind four colorways for 80 then right below it bang I end up seeing these joints right here and I'm of course you know I'm gonna zoom in too, Mag because of my light all that white and everything Yep, yep, yep. So uh, these, I end up swooping up for like $42 after tax. Use my $20 reward from Finish Live and subtracted $20 from that 60 and end up walking out of the store with these bad boys. Crazy, fly, and flame. Some I definitely can see myself rocking for the summer, spring, because the color is just banging. Um, I can't wait till it hits the sunlight. I want to hurry up and get this review out to you guys while they were fresh and clean. But um, so I can actually rock them because I was just close to wearing them. But you know, I just want to keep them pristine for you guys because this is like a more white sneaker. So, and uh, it's also it also has a cool feature on here as well, guys. That like I'm gonna show you with my phone. I already had a picture on my phone right here but I should get to that later and I'm gonna do an overview and a little bit of a talk video also thanks everybody that's been watching my Nike Air Tailwind 4 videos from the Ghost Aqua to the OG Verde Green colorway man and my um not only just the review but also uh after wearing it for two weeks the Verde Green one so so what we got is the regular retail was $160 I bought them for $42 after tax. So I saved $118. Now, since uh this before, you know, a little bit before they cause you know I watched the news like you guys before this whole lockdown thing and all that stuff, man. Y'all know what's going on. Not too many people is out, so I'm not even gonna open that can of worms or whatever. But uh, just looking up close, the color is white, total orange, and ice. And I'm going to show you guys the colors that are on the sneaker for sure. And point them out. And I got mine in a size 10. This is my first size 10 um, tailwind. So, uh, you all know how it goes. As soon as you, go, as soon as you do a review... As soon as you do a review, um, you start picking up stuff on the sneaker. But anyway, and somebody will be calling the house phone. Goodness. Okay. So first thing first, obviously you guys see white. And the colors are, you know, obviously you guys can definitely see the colors. I was just quiet for a moment because the answer machine picked up so yes so, so i actually still have a landline as well but anyway um all right anyway so obviously you guys can see this is white now we don't have the gradient okay you do okay we have a little bit of the gradient finish with like the silver on the rib cage right here like also call them centipede legs as well same thing on the other side going to the other side right here now, one of the things that really attracted me to this shoe was definitely the orange swoosh. Hopefully that's picking up correctly in the light. Another thing that was pretty dope uh, is the water ice, the ice color on here. On the sole, I thought that was also pretty uh, clean. Kind of remind me of uh, water, obviously, because ice obviously is water. But uh, definitely a good color description. It's more like that translucent bottle. 
the air bubbles also is uh, like that ice color looks like water is in it and then you got a mesh all white mesh and they they're trying to cook I think they're trying to somewhat this supposed to be like a leather like uh, material for the white but actually it's 3m so that was definitely cool so I took a picture of this while in store on my phone right here and uh, I'm gonna just zoom in for you guys just so you can see that 3m and that's it lighting up now obviously to make it that 3m happen or that reflective you have to have the flash showing so basically the same thing that make the Jordan 5s with the reflective tongue or the silver tongue flash that's all this really is that's how you get it to flash anyway so it's not like a thing where it retains the light or whatever and it glow in the dark that would have been cool if it was like that been fly but again you need that flash on just to have that 3M hit but I also thought that was a cool feature as well so I'm like oh man I definitely gotta pick this up because it didn't say that on the finish line website in the description or anything like that neither as far as about like being 3m i think that's just another step ahead with this sneaker um definitely one of these uh city walker kind of like sneakers like one of those uh city crossing guard jackets or something like that you know you then you put the nice footwear on with it fly and flames probably rock it with some lime green shorts so going to the mesh right here it's looking kind of ice blue a little bit um, and the camera you can somewhat see it but also going to the top you got that gray it, it, it looks like a platinum gray silver platinum light gray max air going to the inside so you can see the insole and the sock liner obviously you got the total orange with the Nike and the insole is actually mesh and I'm just not really picking up on that. And I'm seeing that with my other joint right here. Go look at the Ghost Aqua review if you haven't yet. I got them out here for comparison too, guys. Definitely a fly sneaker. Both of them. One of the things I liked on the Ghost Aqua was, Aqua was definitely the red swoosh. We got the orange swoosh. And um, we're going to see if I can get another colorway coming in for this. And, you know... I'm going to drop it for you guys if I can get it. Also, too, going up the V along the tongue, that's also a tumbled leather as well. If you look up close, more pebbled, tumbled leather. Going to the back, you do have like a platinum silver Air Max. Probably a little too, a little too close for you guys, my bad. Also, to my light. It's probably kind of a little too bright. There we go. And you got the pebbled leather on the back as well for the Max Air with the swoosh, fly and flames. And you also got the rope laces. Okay, now as far as these rope laces, these are a little bit different than what's on your usual tailwinds. Um, usually you're going with like an oval lace on the uh, tailwinds right here. Um, and that's more of like a flat lace. Not a flat lace, but the oval lace is it's not completely rope laced or circular, really. These are more rope laced. I know not too many reviews might not be out on this colorway, which is definitely why I want to just do this colorway while it's still fresh and clean, man. Um, so in case you wait for these in the mail. Also, too, you got the Max Air unit sign right there. And uh, what was another part I was about to say? Still got the chrome like accents. This is reflective right here. This gray, same on this side. And what else are we working with? The elastic bands right here. Now, as far as comfort go on this thing, I haven't personally tried it on, but just from the feels of it and from the looks of it, it's gonna feel just like this one, the Aqua Ghost colorway. Um, the fit and everything still shouldn't be too different. I got my Verde's right here as well. Um, can't wait to get my other pair of these as well. Got another pair coming in. And, uh, that was one of the colorways I've been definitely saying I wanted as well. As far as more colorways on these, I probably can go for one more colorway 
So that will bring me to a total of maybe four tailwinds, roughly so. Um, five to like five to seven tailwinds. I didn't know I was gonna actually like the sneaker that much though. Also, too, going to the toe box, you still got like the pebbled leather. But yeah, I didn't know that I was actually gonna because these once these actually break in, they actually are comfortable. I kind of went through hell the first time, my first two weeks with the Verde joint. As far as the vibes from these, though, I definitely get um, summertime vibes for sure. Them summertime vibes like by the water or something. They kind of like that aqua blue a little bit um, or ice blue. Uh, something that's definitely a little different. Especially for a runner too. I know we get a lot of basketball sneakers, especially me. I get a lot of basketball sneakers in different colors. I've also been working on getting a little bit more runners in a little bit more different colors. This kind of colorway reminds me of my 96 Up Tempo Pippins um, with the Knicks colorway because that's what that total orange remind me of. That one also has total orange as well. Obviously, you can still see the reduced tag right here. Again, I still haven't worn these yet because I've been saving them for this review for you guys. With white shoes, they get, you know, they pick up more particles and more likely can get dirtier kind of fast. As far as the cleaning process go on this, the cleaning process might be a breeze from the looks of it because there's no uh, soft materials on here. If anything, maybe the mesh might get, can get dirty if anything. But if you're rocking them casually and you're not doing anything extreme, you should be fine. But even still, the cleanup on here shouldn't be too bad because the materials seem pretty durable and uh, more hardy like. Um, the finish on here, that's another thing. The finish on here seems like it's not really, again, not really leather, but more that 3M kind of like material. So if you do have a Jordan 5 right next to you with like a silver tongue or a 3M tongue, basically that's what this material feels like. It's not nothing that's like premium or anything, but it seems like if you spray, I would say spray it on. Um, I wouldn't necessarily too much wear these in the rain, but if you had to wear them in light rain, you don't have too much of a big deal. Uh, but definitely use the repellent when you are rocking these. I'm just a little bit more afraid of the mesh getting a little bit more dirty. But as time goes on, the yellowing process will start on these sneakers. Um, that's what's starting to happen to my Verde joints right here. They're starting to yellow up, even down to the shoelaces right here. I don't know if you can see it. I know my light is kind of bright. So, yeah, you can see some of that. <clears throat> so, yeah, tell me what you guys think. Is it worth it? Fly and Flames. Especially for 42 bucks though, you can't even miss with this. Uh, I've also seen the triple whites with the gray. They almost look similar to these joints, but they remind me of the Air Max 98 with the crocodile skin, the white joints with the sepia, kind of like light brownish kind of light color. That's what the triple white ones remind me of with the little hints of sepia, light gray dust. That's the color they call it dust or whatever. So these almost look similar to that. But again, I like these better because they have that strike of orange and they do that 3M material effect. Uh, they actually have that 3M material. And then um, before I head up out of here, I'm just give you one more quick look, just real close. I can't wait to do the one feet for these. Um, when I do do the one feet, they're definitely going to look good outside when the light is hitting it. And like I say, guys, make sure you get the rewards, man. If you buy sneakers often, the rewards programs and all that stuff will come in clutch for you. Like uh, when you get ready to buy some sneakers again or, you know, and you see something for a discount too or on sale, definitely could come in a, in a clutch for you. You know, I'm trying to get this the right, the right color for y'all so y'all can right angle I seem like I'm kind of close though but I know I got all that light there we go that orange is hitting 
yep so basically that's it guys i'm starting it's starting to be a, a, re, a repeat show you guys can run the video back if you want to see it again i think about glaciers with this steel just kind of almost like the aqua ghost a little bit that i have right here go check out this review if you haven't yet uh, the aqua ghost joints definitely be nice for the summer and you can see some of the difference in color right there and you can see this one as well and you can see the orange obviously on this this is a little bit more it's like with this one you hit the top of the mountain like that the top of the mountain where like it's so white that snow peak peak it's like you get in there with this but like you really like get there with this like you up there where like the water caps is like dri dripping that a little bit you know what i mean maybe like an igloo somewhat you know as well so yeah because i almost stopped myself because i already said the aqua ghost joints i was like nah you know these will look good with some blue jeans and these will definitely look good with some black jeans as well but blue jeans for sure for sure because this colorway is flames I'm out. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.